Let's start with tyre pressure, as this is the only part of the car that can be tuned without making any upgrades. As you drive, friction between your tyres and the track will cause your tyres to heat up. As the tyre compound heats up, it becomes softer and more pliable, helping it to mould into small cracks in the track's surface, therefore increasing potential grip. This could lead us to believe that hotter is better, but it isn't. As the tyre gets hot, which is something we want, the air inside the tyre begins to expand. This causes the pressure inside the tyre to rise. If the pressure rises excessively, the tyre may balloon, which is something we don't want. Ballooning is when the edges of the tyre lift off the ground, significantly reducing the contact patch and available grip. Tyres need pressures that suit a maximum contact patch, along with temperatures that suit the compound. In most cases, road or street compound tyres reach their optimum grip somewhere between 140 to 170 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 to 75 degrees Celsius. Sport compound tyres will perform best between 160 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit or roughly 70 to 95 degrees Celsius. While race compound tyres can run much hotter, often performing best between 170 to 220 degrees Fahrenheit or 75 to 105 degrees Celsius. Remember, tyres will not be at these optimum temperatures straight from the pits. Run a few corners or maybe even an entire lap to bring the tyres up to race temperature before you start making any adjustments. Once race temperatures are achieved, recheck tyre pressures to ensure they have not climbed too high. Race temperature tyres should ideally have pressures between 32 to 33 psi or 2.2 to 2.27 bar. This will result in a good shape and the largest contact patch. You can check tyre information by using the in-game telemetry. While on the track, press up on the D-pad on your Xbox controller and then Using the right D-pad button, you can see the temperature of the tyres. They are divided into three areas for each tyre, inside, middle and outer. If the centre of the tyre is hotter than the edges, then the pressure is set too high. The tyre is ballooning. If the edges are hotter than the centre, the pressure is set too low. Adjusting tyre pressures can also affect the response of the car. Increasing tyre pressure increases response, while decreasing pressure reduces response. Personally, however, I recommend you focus on contact patch and temperatures when adjusting tyre pressures, and use suspension adjustments to control response. This is covered later in the course. Should the inside edges of the tyre remain hotter than the outside edges, or vice versa, this is not a pressure issue. This is a camber problem which we discuss in the next section. Here is a quick summary of the tuning process. We start with a cold tyre pressure in the high 20 psi range, say 28 psi. Then we drive a bit to get the tyres up to temperature. We use telemetry to see if we are close to our target pressure of 32 to 33 psi, and then double check the centre temperatures, which shouldn't be too high or low relative to the edges. If necessary, we adjust pressure higher or lower and retest, and then we know we will have a good contact patch.